This is nitrocellulose over polyurethane. And I tried four ways of doing this, so I'm gonna tell you what works and what doesn't work, starting with paint stripper. On the forums, people recommended paint stripper, so I bought the one they recommended, sprayed it on, left it for 20 minutes, and then went to scrape it off. It did absolutely nothing, complete waste of time. So what about a heat gun? Now with a heat gun, I started with a plastic scraper because I thought that would protect the body. The scraper melted, so sack that off, get a metal scraper, I'll put links to these in the description, and I started using a metal scraper on the body. The heat gun seemed to make it bubble up rather than peel like I've seen in other videos. I don't know what was going wrong, but it didn't really work for me. I did that for about 20 minutes and I thought, I wonder how some 60 grit sandpaper would work using a random orbital sander. I used the sandpaper for 20 minutes, just like the heat gun, and then compared how far I'd got with the heat gun compared to the sandpaper you decide what was quickest. Once all of the poly was removed, I did go over the body with some stains just to try a sunburst out. That worked out quite well. If you're wondering what happens if you use a sander but you don't sand all the finish off, well, I tried that too with this guitar. This started life as a blue guitar. I went over it with some 400 grit sandpaper just so that Nitro had something to key to. So both these guitars ended up sanded to 400 grit and then it's time for your Nitro Cellulose. Now, what I would say is, Buy the best mask you can get. I did it all outside. This is my mask. Sometimes use a full face mask. I'll put a link to this in the description. Nitrocellulose makes you feel rough for days if you breathe it in. So stay outside, well ventilated, good mask. I know that's boring, but honestly, you'll feel rough if you don't use it. Anyway, sander sealer. Ideally, you want to spray a few coats of this nitrocellulose sander sealer over your guitar body. And between coats, probably use wet and dry paper at about 800 to 1200 grit just to take any bits of imperfection out because it might fur up a bit. It just makes the finish more level. If you need more than sort of four coats, leave it a day and try again. I don't ever bother. I like the open grain on timber, which that pretty much no one else on the planet does, but I've seen it on a few guitars, like a Chapman and an Ibanez. I just think it's far more interesting than a completely flat finish. So I don't bother. I just go straight on the wood as it is. But before you spray the color, Put on a few coats of primer. I use gray for both of these guitars. Again, three to four coats in a day and then leave it for another day and maybe 800, 1200 grit wet and dry paper between coats. Probably about half an hour between each coat and after about four coats, leave it until the next day. The next day when everything's dry, do your top coat. Again, three to four coats and just 800 to 1200 grit wet and dry between coats. Don't go nuts, you will sand through the finish. Um, you can do more coats than that. Sometimes I do sort of six to eight and I do it over a couple of days uh, and it starts to really come together then. Finally, a few coats of satin. I put the tape on it just so I can find it because they all look the same. But I think they do matte. This is nitro, so they do matte. I know they do gloss and satin. I don't think I've ever used matte. Sometimes I don't even bother, to be completely honest, and it looks absolutely fine, like my pink guitar over there. A few coats of this, again, between every coat, leave it about half an hour. Easily go over it easy with a bit of 800 to 1200 uh, wet and dry paper and make sure you dry it. You don't want any water, otherwise the finish is gonna go terribly. And then uh, leave it a day before you touch it, but I leave it a month to dry, which sounds like a long time, but it takes a long time to off gas, but it's probably fine after a week to be honest, but I always leave it a month just because well, that's what I've always done and that's what I was told to do. And then after a month, it should stop smelling because <laughs> uh, it is highly toxic looks fantastic. A couple of things that can go wrong and a couple of recommendations. If it's too cold, it's gonna take longer or it might not cure. So you have to make sure it's warm enough. Also, you have to make sure it's not there's not moisture in the air. I've left nitrocellulose, sprayed it and left it outside into the evening when moisture comes into the air and the finish goes milky. So you have to sand it back um, just a bit with some wet and dry obviously wait till it's warm again and then spray another coat over it and it, it sorts it out. But the finish will go sort of milky looking. I don't have a video of that, but it's happened to me <laughs> on more than one occasion. That's when there's too much moisture in the air. If there's too much dust in the air, the finish can go terribly as well. Um, I tend to spray outside, so sometimes they end up being flies in the finish. Wear a good mask. Just the best mask, the newest filters, the best filters you can afford. Every time I spray it, I feel rough. So I even hold my breath when I spray it, walk away and then start breathing. This is with the mask on. It's awful stuff, but it looks, and the feel of it is amazing. It looks absolutely incredible. So this is nitrocellulose over polyurethane. I think it's polyurethane because they also do polyester. I don't know which is which because you can't tell once it's been sprayed. 
effect, all, most of my guitars in here are nitro now. Looks absolutely incredible. I mean, look at that. There's two makes of nitrocellulose I use. The main one is from Northwest Guitars. All the cans look like this, so I end up putting a sticker around the top so you can tell what it is, because it's not that clear. You have to read the label, so I like it nice and bright. Some nice colors. Uh, I really like Northwest Guitars, but another brand I use is Dartfords. Now, their stuff you can buy off Amazon. I'll put links in the description. This one's Dartfords. What I like about Dartfords, it feels a bit thicker, so when you spray it, you seem to get more coverage. Uh, also, like the angle of it feels better. It just, I don't know. I prefer, I wish Dartford did all the colours these guys do, but they don't. Speaking of nitro finishes, this is Candy Apple Red in nitrocellulose. This again is from the Northwest Guitar Guys. I paid for it, none of this is free. Um, so this is their Candy Apple Red kit, but I used black grain filler, so here's a video on that. This looks incredible. The number of comments I get on this guitar, it is absolutely stunning. And it's got a Telecaster bridge pickup. Thanks for watching.